In this video, we're going to look at how to set up an IMAP email account. To do that, we have to carry out various stages. First off, we need an email client. This is a piece of software that allows us to um, send and receive emails. Um, a very famous one would be Outlook from Microsoft. However, Thunderbird is a great option as well, and it is free. Um, however, many of the steps we're going to carry out for Thunderbird just now can be applied to others such as Outlook if you wish to use that instead. Um, the stages we're going to go through, we're going to download Thunderbird, we're going to install Thunderbird, we'll set up the mail account itself, and then we're going to test the mail account. All pretty straightforward, um, so let's get going. Um, to do this, we need to go to our fail favourite um, internet browser, and we're going to simply search for Thunderbird. Um, fund And um, in the search results, it would generally be at the top, and you can tell it kind of looks like this here. This is the icon we want. Thunderbird, free your inbox. So let's click on that, and um, we're immediately going to be presented with the option to download, and generally you can go straight away and do that. Um, for convenience of this video, I've already downloaded it, um, so we don't have to sit around and watch it download. Um, once it does download, it's going to end up in your um, download folder. And you can see that's my downloads folder here, and you can see we've got the latest version of Thunderbird already downloaded. So to get it installed, we need to double click on it, and you can see it starts to extract the program, and then it'll get ready to install. Give it a little minute. It says, do you want to install Thunderbird on this computer? And yes, we do. So we'll choose yes. We'll go through the steps. We have a standard option or a custom option. For now, we'll simply use our standard option. And we'll choose to install it and use Thunderbird as our default mail client. If we don't um, or are already using another mail system and we want to keep that as your default, well, you can uncheck that. Let's install. see the icon appearing on our desktop there and we have the option to immediately launch Thunderbird right now and we're going to choose to do that. Here it comes in. So um, when landing here, let's um, trying to get you to donate straight away. Thunderbird is a free piece of software. However, it does cost money to develop and keep up to date. Um, so they are encouraging you to make a small donation if you wish to, to use the software. Um, we're not going to on this example, but if you are using it regularly, it's certainly a good thing to do. Um, in Thunderbird itself, um, we've got various immediate things we can choose to do, and the one we're going to be look to do is set up an email account. To do that, we're going to need some settings, and these are the settings we're going to work with just now. Settings like these will be provided by whoever set up your website. Um, and you can simply ask if you haven't been provided a particular email address. Um, the settings we have, we've got a username, which is the email address itself, we've got the password, and then we've got some mail settings which we might have to look at as well. So, um, I know I'm going to need my username first, so I'm going to copy that, and we're going to go back to Thunderbird and choose to set up an email account, and we can enter your name that you want to use with your account, and then the email address itself. So we'll paste that in, we'll go back to our um, our details here and we need to copy and carefully copy and paste as a password. Do make sure you copy it across carefully otherwise things won't work. Paste and now we can test our configuration. For any reason if it doesn't work we do have the option to manually enter details as well so that's an option. So let's click um, continue and see if it can find our details. It says configuration found um, by common se server settings however there is a common mistake it makes is the username and you can see that it's saying contact here. That isn't my actual username and it does catch a lot of people out. So let's correct that. We're going to go to manual, um, configure manually and it will allow us to check our settings. I know that the username, if we go back to our, our settings here, the username is the email address itself. So we're going to copy that across and replace that here. Um, and that should work. We need that both for incoming and outgoing to be that username there. Other settings all look fine just from experience, but you can check if you wish to review and compare what says here against what says here. And for that though, we have the option of retest or simply click done. Let's retest for now. 
The following settings were found by probing the given server. That's a good sign. So we can click done. Um, and um, immediately I can see it doing things. Account successfully created. So we can click finish. And we can see to the side here we've got our mail account. So I can choose to go to the inbox and we can see we've got um, a standard sort of server email sitting there. So it's now time to test our email account. So let's create a new message. And I'm going to send to another test account. So test at sky um, test site .co.uk. Don't try sending emails to that. It won't work after this video. And we're going to go test one and we'll write test one and it all looks fine there. So I'm going to click send. And the fact that it seemed to send straight away is a good indication. We can go to our sent folder and see that it is there, which is all good. I'm now going to minimize this down, our, our Thunderbird client, and I'm going to go to web mail for this test account. And we're going to um, give the option to refresh and we can see the email has arrived. Let's do a quick reply. And um, we can simply go said, say all good and click send, sent, and we can see down here within our um, thing, we can see the email did arrive, but when we go back to Thunderbird uh, to our inbox, we can see test one, and the answer was all good. So you can see it's pretty straightforward to install Thunderbird and set up an email account using IMAP um, on any particular computer. And much of what we've done here can be applied whether using Outlook or other, any other email client. Okay then, hopefully you find this video helpful. I'll stop it and forward on.